Hello kids. Today we are going to see sixth class science third lesson. Rain. Where does it come from? Question answers. Improve your learning. First question: How are clouds formed? Explain. Clouds are created when the water vapor formed due to evaporation becomes a part of air and cannot usually be seen. The water vapor which enters into air through the process of evaporation forms cloud in the sky. This is the first answer. Next second one. In which form does the water from clouds reach the earth? Answer. Water is released from clouds in the form of rain, freezing rain, snow, sleet or hailstones and reaches on the earth next third one when do clouds become cool answer winds bring the clouds from the sea to the land the colder air in the upper layers of the atmosphere cools the clouds the clouds come together and they become laden with the water vapor Fourth one, explain the relationship between the heat of sun and evaporation. Answer, heat of sun and evaporation are related to each other. Sun's heat evaporates the water from the surfaces of water bodies like seas, oceans, rivers, ponds, etc. And the water vapor rises into the atmosphere. As the water vapor moves up it gets condensed and form clouds and then fall back as rain normally it's called rainfall next fifth one why do we experience cloud like smoke near our mouth when we speak during the winter season answer in winter the air in our atmosphere is very cool as compared to the air coming out from our mouth Water vapor present in the air coming out from our mouth gets cooled suddenly to form very tiny droplets. These tiny droplets concentrated in a limited area appear like smoke or a small cloud near our mouth. Next, sixth question. Correct the given sentence if necessary. If the size of water drops decreases in the clouds, they can no longer hold the water drops actually it is increases okay if the size of water drops increases in the clouds they can no longer hold the water drops this is the correct sentence okay next question seventh which of the following days is more suitable for drying of washed clothes explain why a bit windy day b is cloudy day answer the washed clothes contain water drops in them on a windy day, when the wind flows, the water drops in the clothes are evaporated slowly and the clothes become dry. Hence, clothes will be dried very fastly. On a cloudy day, the atmosphere is cool and the wind also contains drops in it. Hence, on a cloudy day, wet clothes take more time to dry. Next, eighth one. Which of the following statements are right or wrong? Evaporation takes place quickly when more heat is supplied. Is due to more heat, evaporation is more. So this sentence is correct. Next, B bit. For condensation of water, it should be cooled. Yes, when there is when it gets water vapor gets cooled, then only condensation process occurs. The sentence is right. C bit. Water vapor is obtained from water by evaporation. Yes, due to evaporation only, water vapor we get. Okay, so this is also right. Ninth one, draw a diagram which explains the water cycle. So here you have to draw the water cycle diagram. Already it is in your textbook. You can see and draw. In the figure you can observe that when sunlight is there, the water in the water bodies gets evaporated. So water vapor is formed. That is that process of evaporation and that water vapor will stay in the clouds and once the clouds get cooled that is condensation occurs the water vapor which is present in the clouds will fall down 
as rainfall okay so this is water cycle this is a continuous pro process okay water gets evaporated again it gets condensed and again it will be falling down as rain okay this is continuous process so write a definition of water cycle the circulation of water into water vapor by evaporation water vapor to clouds to rain by condensation is known as water cycle next one how do you feel when you see a rainbow express your feelings in the form of a song or a poem answer we feel very happy and excited when we see a rainbow after rainfall we like to sing and dance also in the question they asked to write a song or a poem to express your feelings this you write it on your own okay this i am not giving you have to write it on your own next one 11th clouds once seen at a particular point may not be there after some time why the clouds formed on the surface of the different water bodies do not stay there they start to move from one place to another in the direction of winds okay next one raven blew air from his mouth onto the mirror while he was getting ready to go to school he observed that the image in the mirror was not clear why do you think it was it has become so when raven blew air from his mouth onto the mirror the air in the vapor form gets attached to the mirror glass and condenses to form water droplets so the image in the mirror become unclear or blur next 13th one if it is raining in a village you don't find rain in another village why do you think it is happening so answer the clouds formed on the surface of the different water bodies do not stay there they start to move from one place to another in the direction of winds when the clouds are moving on the land when they come across cool winds they condense and fall as rain so this is the reason for raining in a village and don't find rain in another village next question if condensation fails to occur in nature what happens answer the cycle of evaporation and condensation of water on earth surface causes rain when condensation fails to occur in nature the atmospheric conditions are not favorable for clouds to get cooled consequently there will be no rains this disturbs the water cycle and leads to droughts next 15th one why does the driver of a vehicle wipe the glass inside even if the wiper is working on the outer surface of the glass when he drives in rain answer when it is raining the wind wipers of a vehicle wipe out the rain water of the glass outside the vehicle but the water vapor inside the vehicle condenses on touching the cool glasses of the vehicle and water drops are formed inside the glass window hence the driver wipes out the glass inside the vehicle frequently when traveling in rain in 10th question they ask to write a song or a poem expressing your feelings on rainbow okay so here i am adding a poem if you want you can add this one for the 10th answer rainbow red orange yellow green and blue indigo and purple are they too shining brightly way up high i see a rainbow in the sky rain and sun work together making it my favorite weather okay if you want to add this poem you can add or else you can write it on your own okay by this we completed the third lesson uh, in next video we'll be seeing the next lesson question answers bye kids